What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to be giving you the long-term review of my Elementum button lock. This one here is a Civivi branded button lock that they first introduced before they came along with the Cogent and the popular Altus. I really still like this knife a whole lot. I think this is actually the size I'd prefer for the regular Elementum to be, but it's only available with the button lock. This one here has a 14C28N blade steel. This one is coated, has gotten plenty of use, even though it only looks like it's scarred towards the tip. That's probably because I use this mostly to open packages, not really breaking boxes down a whole lot with this one. It does have that hollow grind and it has started to patina quite nicely. The micarta, micarta still feels really nice on this, and um, you can really kind of get a sense from where where I hold it the most, I guess, based on the fact that it came looking like it does up here at the tip. And as I've kind of held on to it and used it, it's really patina quite nicely. I do like this button lock a whole lot. I think the big turnoff was the fact that the only deployment method was the wrist flick method. I mean, you could technically unlock it and open it <laughs> two-handed and then again, close it two-handed. But it's really, I, I feel like they designed this one to be very different. And what is also very different about the Elementum button lock is it is a compression lock. It is a compression lock in the fact that it's locking it between this stop pin going backwards and the lock bar in there with which is what pushes the button out and prevents it from coming going in and out. So it is like a compression lock system, but it is also completely locked out in the closed position. So that is pretty much what's different. I like this because it's a lightweight knife. It has nice neutral ergonomics. It fits fully in hand. It gives you a full grip. It has the jimping in the right place. It has a hollow grind and it's really a nice looking knife. I think the piece itself is very nice looking. I did change to the old Elementum style pocket clip. The one that came on here was still the style where the bill was pointed up into the palm and a little bit pokey. So the old Elementum did a good job putting that bill downward and it still catches the pocket really well. And even though it is a flush mounted or flat mounted, pocket clip it sits on top of the micarta because the screws are inset it gives you plenty of clearance and that does go all the way down into the pocket quite easily it does have the micarta backspacer which i think actually looks good in between the liners it does give you a lanyard bar a lanyard bar as opposed to a lanyard hole which i think just really keeps everything nice and clean and very thin some of the cons about this obviously the only means of deployment um, is the button lock, but it does allow for one-handed operation. It allows you to get it out quick, make your cuts, do what you need to do with it, and get it out of your hand so you can get back to whatever it is that you're working on, and I really do appreciate that. It is completely blacked out, but I do kind of wish sometimes that they would have blacked out the lanyard bar and the compression bar and the standoff here because I think it would have looked a lot better. I also think that if they would have done like they did with the Altus and they would have just blacked out the branding, would have been really cool to have everything blacked out on my particular variant to kind of match everything else being blacked out. I have had no issues with having to retighten this, service this or maintenance this. All I've had to do was kind of strop it up a little bit. 14C continues to really impress me. I like this steel a lot and I hope that they continue to use this instead of D2 because I do like the fact that the 14C28N is more corrosive resistant. Not that it's an issue here, but it's always nice if you're, you know, cutting something that might have some moisture on it that you don't really think about. You put it away and you kind of forget to come back and clean it off. That is a factor to consider. Really good build. I really do still like this design a lot. I hope they don't get rid of it. I know that the Cogent and the Altus, and I think they're coming out with a Conspirator or, an, or something to that degree that's going to be around this size more sleek than the cogent so i'm really interested in checking that one out it's going to be another flipper tab button lock um, so if you don't like the style of the cogent you might want to check that one out again if you don't like the style of the cogent this one here is a really nice aesthetically appealing knife i just think it's very clean very clean lines they didn't try to chamfer it the liners stand off um stand a little bit proud 
but you don't really feel that with the ergonomics. And again, this is just, it feels really nice in hand and it's so easy to use. I really think there's really not a reason not to enjoy this knife. I think from a fidget factor, it's gonna, it's gonna really scratch that itch for you. You don't have to have all the other means of deployment. So I'll bring out the knife that I think really popularized the button lock and that's gonna be the Malibu. The Malibu, you can, do the same thing that you can with the button lock it just gives you that extra means of deployment which you know i think if that's what you prefer and what you're most comfortable with then you know this is not your knife but if that's not really a factor and you can manipulate a knife with your wrist um you just got to give it a little gas you just just a little mm, just like that and it's going to come flying out i mean i'm doing it hard to emphasize it but you really don't have to do it that hard and it is a bit of a gravity piece too. So, you know, you could just have it straight down, unlock it and let it slide out. And then same thing, just let it slide shut. I like it. I st it's still one of my favorite. And again, from a looks perspective, grip, hollow grind, it does have the sharpening toil on it. And again, 14C28N being a great steel that I really like a lot. I still recommend this knife. And I also think the price point's pretty sweet on it. I believe it's still under $70. I will actually right here throw the listing up on the screen to make sure that that's right because I'm going from memory and I've had this knife about six months. So I'm not sure that this is 100% right and I see a lot of stuff come and go in my inventory. So I apologize if that's wrong, but still a very recommendable knife, especially because it's very affordable. And, you know, I think from a fidget factor it's kind of a cool little thing to have and again if you don't really like that it's not that hard to push the button and just kind of let i'm at a really bad angle let gravity do its thing i mean it's really not that serious but again and it's it's solid that's the big thing about this compression style lock spider code does this all day every day on a lot of their knives the yojimbo 2 para 3 paramilitary 2 shaman a lot of their knives use the compression lock. Even the smock, even though the smock has the button on it as well, it does still have the compression lock on the back that does operate it. Ooh, sorry, my thumb was a little bit high on the scale. So when you do, com uh, and the compression lock is locked against that standoff. So it really does operate very similarly, but I would argue that the Elementum is much better tuned. It's much smoother in operation. Anyway, that is my long-term review. Still recommending this knife, still loving it, still not looking to get rid of it. It's still one of my favorites in my inventory, and I do like to grab it on occasion. Sometimes I actually will grab this before anything else. If I'm headed out really quickly and I'm not trying to think about what I'm gonna get, I'll grab this and I think the other really lightweight knife I grab is typically my bug out and the other one that I really like because it's still lightweight but still really ergonomically pleasing and all three very fidgetable is the Yojimbo 2. I think these three probably make it to my pocket the most out of everything, especially on the weekends or if I'm heading out the door. Um, but depending on where I'm going, I may grab this one first or the um, the bug out. If I'm if I anticipate that for any reason I might have to pull it out and use it, I grab those depending on where I'm going. Not that I won't grab the Yojimbo 2, but I, I admittedly understand <laughs> this does look a little bit more tactical, um, even though I really like this from an EDC. Ergonomics, the utility uh, capability of that modified sheep's foot. <laughs> I really just like this one a lot. And from a fidget perspective, they really dialed this one perfect too. Fall shut action. I mean, I almost missed that. I almost miss it. It goes so quick. Um, and you know, it's just a really, you know, really great knife. And again, long-term review. I love the button lock. Love this a lot. Um, I'm really happy with the olive and the, and the dark coating. I think they look good together. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support. And until next time, peace.